Glasto, which is coming to Peterborough this weekend, sort of. Festival vibes in St John's Square on Saturday and Sunday, thanks to a big screen showing performances from the UK's most famous music event. Pep Cipriano is CEO of Peterborough Positive, who are behind this. Hi, Pep. Morning, Dotty. Can we have Ben and his drums to come down? I think that'd be really, really good. I think that's <laughs> something for you to contact his agents about, Pep. I'll, I'll, we'll I'll that, put your yeah. people in touch with his people. <laughs> Why you decided to to do the Glastonbury big screens this year? <clears throat> Well, we we had a, a big screen event last year with the Wimbledon finals, and it just went down really well in the, in that backdrop behind the church where the grassy area is. So I thought to myself, you know what, let's do it again, but let's do something different. And obviously, Glastonbury is Glastonbury. Everybody loves a bit of Glastonbury, and we just want to bring Glastonbury to Peterborough City Centre without all the mud. So uh, <laughs> what'd be a good idea? Yeah, potentially quite a good sell. So so what can people expect? There'll be the big screen, obviously. Are there other bits and bobs going on around it? Yeah, so so basically we start on Saturday at 12.30 um, all the way through to 8pm. There is a combination of obviously, you know, glass and pre performances on the big screen and we have um, some live music um, being played from the Queen's Head. So there's some live bands playing. So it's a mixture between the two. We have a bit of big screen action going on for about an hour and a half. Then we'll turn the screen off and play some live music. We've obviously got food and drink, as you would have on any festival-type atmosphere, and a bit of face painting as well. Um, I think Turtle Bay have got a barbecue on, on the Saturday. So lots going on in the square to try and create that kind of festival atmosphere. And then Sunday, I think you're running it from 12.30 until 5pm. Yeah. It means that you'll miss the Legends slot with Shania <laughs> Twain on the Pyramid stage. I know, I know. We, we, we wanted, it's the first year of doing something like this, so we can't sort of run before we can walk. We just need to make sure that, you know, it's obviously safe and it's adhering to all the different regulations around, you know, licensing and putting an event on. So, and there's also the football to take uh, consideration of as well. So, you know, we, we just want to make sure we've got enough going on for the whole weekend, sort of during, during the daytime for, for everybody to enjoy. And Pep, the the possibility, I don't want to (coughs) count my footballing chickens um, before they hatch, but the possibility that England could face Italy in, I think, the quarterfinals of the Euros. What are you reckoning of of Italy's draw for the round of 16? Um, Well, okay, so Italy are playing Switzerland. Mm. Switzerland are pretty much our bogey team. We we just don't beat Switzerland. So it's going to be a tough one. I I think every game from now on is pretty much going to go to penalties. Um, But, you know, if England play Italy in the quarters, I think it's England's time for revenge. England have a much better squad, even though they're not playing that well, like the Italians at the moment. It just takes a goal from Harry Kane in the next game against uh, you know, uh, Slovakia to just ignite the team. So I just feel England will be too strong. So uh, that's how I think it's going to go. I think it'll be 2-1 uh, England, but both teams still have to play a match. So yeah. let's see what happens <laughs> <laughs> Quite. Pep, thank you very much. Pep Cipriano there, CEO of Peter Propositive there. Glastonbury Big Screen will be there just behind St John's Church in the city centre on Saturday from 12.30 until 8. And then on Sunday from 12.30 until 5. And on the Saturday in particular, there'll be some live music. There'll be some food going on. Different smells wafting their way across the square. It sounds like it could be a really good laugh. Uh, 12.30 till 8 on the Saturday afternoon.